I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and in this video I'm going to take an in-depth look at the features of the Yamaha P225 digital piano and I'm going to demonstrate its sounds too. So if you're in the market for a portable digital piano this video will give you all the information you need to know about the P225 to ensure you're spending your money wisely and making the right buying decisions. I will include many playing examples so to get the best out of this video make sure you're listening using a good pair of speakers or headphones. And if you already play the piano, there is of course nothing better than getting your hands on one of these keyboards for yourself before deciding to purchase. And you can do this at one of Bonner's Piano Centres. We have three showrooms in the UK, on the south coast in Eastbourne, in Rygate in Surrey, which is just two minutes from Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and of course in Milton Keynes, which is very close to the M1 motorway. Now, all of our stores have plenty of on-site free parking right outside the door, and you can test drive the P225 alongside similar instruments from other manufacturers, so you know you're making the right choice. So the P225 is an 88 key portable digital piano that weighs just 11 and a half kilograms, and it has a graded hammer action keyboard. And that means that it's slightly heavier in the lower registers uh, compared with the feel of the treble octaves. So let's begin with some playing, and I thought I would start by demonstrating the first piano voice you hear when you switch on the P225, and that's the sound of Yamaha's premier concert grand piano, the CFX. So if like me you thought that that sounded good then it's not only because of really good quality Yamaha piano samples but also some technology that Yamaha has incorporated into this new model called Virtual Resonance Modeling or VRM for short. So VRM reproduces the complex sympathetic vibration of the strings and soundboard that you hear when playing a grand piano. So just like an acoustic piano you might hear some resonance from other notes when they're not being played and it results in a really kind of warm and engaging sound. So to demonstrate this, if I first play a note in a staccato fashion without any other notes being pressed, you'll only hear the resonance of the one note that I strike. Now if I hold down a bunch of notes in the lower register and play the same staccato notes you will also hear the simulated sound of the undamped strings in the lower register resonating. So VRM is a feature that was usually only ever found on more expensive premium range pianos but Yamaha has included it on the P225 which is a really welcome addition. Let's now take a look at the panel layout of the P225. So this instrument has a total of 24 voices from which to choose, and you select your voice by pressing one of the relevant six voice category buttons on the front panel. Each category contains four voices and the little LED lights indicate which voice variation is selected. This is one of the things that makes the P225 different from its lower priced P145 sibling. So to save on production costs, the P145 doesn't have any voice selection buttons. The overall panel design is very sleek and it feels more modern than the older P125 model, which this new instrument replaces. There are of course buttons to operate the built-in recorder, metronome and rhythm patterns, but more on that a little bit later. To simplify the operation of the piano even further, you could download the free Yamaha Smart Pianist app, 
which in my opinion is one of the best digital piano controller apps on the market from any manufacturer. This allows you to use your touch screen of your smart device to access all the voices and functions and it makes getting to things like transpose, tuning and deeper sound settings much easier than using the front panel buttons. But remember though you can only connect the P225 to your smart device using a cable because it doesn't have Bluetooth MIDI built in as standard. The P225 does however have Bluetooth audio which can be used for streaming audio from your smart device through the piano speaker system for playing along with backing tracks or tuition apps. I'm now going to play you some examples of other voices found in the P225 starting with some of the alternative acoustic piano voices followed by a selection of the alternative instrument sounds including strings, organ, electric pianos and choirs.
So that was just a small selection of the onboard sounds. I've made another video in which I demonstrate every sound of the P225. So just search for P225 all sounds played on YouTube or check the link in the description to this video. So the P225 has a built-in 14 watt sound system which can also be enhanced with the new sound boost function. So this feature seems to boost the high and mid EQ frequencies and drop a little bit of the bass. And it's designed to give the uh, sound a bit more presence, especially when playing with other instruments. And it can be selected to affect the internal speakers or the line outputs or just switched off completely. Pianos in this price category don't usually have any kind of EQ adjustments at all, so it's a welcome feature. And the sound boost function certainly makes the sound cut through the mix when you need it. Another feature I particularly like on pianos of this type is the ability to layer two voices together. So by simply pressing two voice buttons at the same time, the instrument layers both sounds on every key. This means you can achieve lovely sound textures such as piano and strings, which is great for playing film scores. Another popular sound layer is to mix the voice of the live grand piano with the DXE piano voice to give you a classic 80s David Foster style ballad sound just like this. The P225 has two headphone outputs so that two people can simultaneously enjoy the sound of the piano using earphones but without disturbing other people in the household. On the rear of the instrument you'll find professional quarter inch jack outputs for connection to external amplification and this is particularly useful if you're using the P225 on stage or in a studio recording environment. To successfully play a digital piano, you must have a damper or sustain pedal. Now the P225 is supplied with a small plastic foot switch like this one and that comes in the box. But my advice would be to always, if finances permit, to upgrade this to a more substantial metal pedal like this one. So the smaller pedals supplied with lower cost pianos tend to get kicked around the floor when you're playing and a more substantial pedal is not only more stable but it gives more control over your pedaling technique. Now these types of pedals start from about £25 here in the UK and it makes a huge difference to the experience of playing this instrument. Now new for this range is the compatibility with Yamaha's new FC35 portable triple piano pedal. Now this pedal can be purchased separately for just under £100 and it gives you three metal piano pedals offering sustain, soft and sostenuto functions. The FC35 is portable enough to transport with you wherever you take your P225. The P225 is available in both black and white finishes and Yamaha manufactures a wooden music stand known as the L200 which is perfect to make your piano look appealing in the home. There's also another triple pedal option called the LP1 which can be used in conjunction with the L200 stand to complete the home piano look. 
Bonners offers a large range of P225 package bundles that include different stands, pedals and headphone options, so check our website for the latest offers and discounts. The P225 has an onboard metronome with variable tempo, and to make things even more fun, there is also a built-in drum machine with 20 different rhythmic styles. The drum machine makes practicing pop and jazz pieces a lot more fun, and it even includes an automatic bass line to give your performance the sound of a small band. So here's a couple of examples of the rhythm section using the automatic bass line feature. The P225 has a built-in recorder for capturing your performance and it can be used in two ways. Now, my piano teacher always told me to practice each hand of a piece separately and then put them both together. So the recording function of the P225 allows you to record one hand and then practice the other hand whilst playing back your recorded part, like this. So first of all, I press record and then I play the left hand part. I stop the recording, I can then play that back and practice my right hand while listening to the left hand part. The other useful and fun way to put the recorder to good use is to play a duet with yourself. So if I put it into record mode again, I can play the bass part of my duet. So then I stop the recording and I play back the recorded part whilst playing the treble part of the duet and it just makes it great fun. So that brings me to the end of my Yamaha P225 buyer's guide and demonstration video. And I'm pleased to say that the P225 maintains Yamaha's record for producing really good quality and reliable products that tick the boxes for most people's needs in any given price category. So most importantly, the P225 is a great sounding piano which would be ideal for both beginners and more experienced pianists who need a practice instrument or something to take on the road to gigs and events. So you can order this piano from the Bonners Music online store, or you're very welcome to come along and test drive it for yourself in one of our beautiful piano showrooms, where you can compare the P225 with models from other manufacturers, just to ensure that you're making the right buying decision. If you're in the UK and you need any advice or help in choosing a new piano, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us here at Bonners Music. Thanks very much for watching.